hard hummingbird. Hank came to Tasmania with Theodore and the friends a long time ago to help with the other tugs with the island work. He started to explore his new home back then. Before that, Hank worked at a tipyard somewhere in America. He used to go everywhere taking rubbish, but he never got a chance to exercise his engine pistons until he had a dog to work in with Theodore and his friends. One day, Hank was resting in small engine docks unknown. That morning, he heard Percy talk about the tipyard in Margate. Hank was thinking of his young days when he worked at a tip tool. Many fishing docks have never been far. I got cramped and was resting before I could escape. I asked another tongue to take my place while I escaped to Australia to visit the seaside where I stayed for some days before going to live with my friends in Theodore, my best friend. After I had trouble come to me, some police boats were after me. I did the same as Theodore, hiding small places, hiding the truth. Hank had been steaming very smoothly out at sea, steaming away from the tip yard in America. Till when morning came, he arrived in Australia. Wow! I've never been here for many years, thought Hank. He was about to go in some spot to explore when he had a thought. Some police folks would be looking for him. He knew he had to hide the truth, so he won't get taken back. He had an awful thought. If he confessed the truth to the police, he would get taken to the dock museum, or even worse, get taken to the scrapyards. He had one choice which is good. He can tell the truth to the person who can support him. After thinking, he began to explore Australia. He came to a seaside. It was called Hobart. He followed a river leading him to White Beach. He came to Nobina Docks, explored every spot and would say hello to the Aussie people. Then he went to find Sloping Man. By the time he found it, he could hear there was no sound. Every place was very quiet. There was the seaside layout of water.
he saw the house my grandparents used to live. Oh yes, he felt very much at home here. There was a shed. Tall. Empty and cozy it was, so he went in it. After he explored another river, The river was a jungle. He was thinking about what to do when he heard some sounds of sirens. Uh-oh, Penny's folks, thought Hank. I must hide. He found a hiding place where nobody can see him. He saw the spotlight coming in the river jungle lurking. He quickly got behind the bush and kept quiet. He was so scared that he felt his heart thumping. The peace folks came in closer the spotlight was coming near his hiding place. Hank watched it move the move back quietly. No sign of him, said one of the police people and left. Hank gave a grin to himself. Bad luck, police, he said whispering. He went back to his shed and slept. Next morning, he was excited. He was doing a job. It was taking fish to market, but he wasn't doing it yet. He asked a man if he can do the fish work. He said, yes. You can, then you better go. I saw the police search for you. I think you'll escape your first job. I know, sir, said Hank. And he told him the truth about why he escaped the first workplace. Because you crab. Nobody understands tugs like you. When you talk to them, they don't listen. But the police, they nearly took me back. I wouldn't have... I would have got scrapped. I'm put in a museum. Well, if you have strange ways, you hide them until you find someone to talk to. After he told him the truth about his trip here, Hank went to do the delivery work. I hope I can find life great than my cramp up place. At least I told the truth to the right person. Just then the door banged. <coughs> Hank jumped. Wake up, Hank, said me. Time for work. Hank sighed. He moved away from the pot. Well, I did get to have a fine holiday, even when it nearly turned worse, and I nearly got caught from the police. They're wanting me to tell them 
the truth about my trip here. But I think my life is safe. I heard him say that to himself as he left. I can't understand he remembers about turning the truth to the right somebody, not the wrong somebody. <laughs>